Look at how big this bird is. And if you've seen them last week, how much they grow, and they're doubled in size. Hey everybody, I'm over at the chickens. I got one of them out. You can see they're getting big. Got a comb coming in on his head. Fleshy breasts coming out. A few weeks, these guys will be ready. You see that wing feathers are coming. He almost looks like he's a frizzle. Look at that, isn't that nice? They're gonna be bit some big chickens. I'm sure he'll be happy to go back in with the others. Hey everybody, I'm back. I wanna talk about candling eggs. This is really one of the most difficult things you're gonna to have to deal with when you decide you're gonna run an incubator. I'm telling you that when you, if you haven't ran an incubator before, or candled eggs, the best bet is to get an egg candler from one of the hatcheries. The homemade methods, I tried it, you're not going to get as good results using a flashlight. Get a candler made to candle eggs. My second thing is an absolutely must, is you need to start with white eggs. Even if the chicken that you want to hatch is not from a white egg, the first thing eggs you hatch need to be a white egg. Or you're going to suffer setbacks. You may ruin your incubator. You may have eggs explode. You may have a mess. You may not have a hatch that you want. So you absolutely need to do your first run ever doing an incubator with white eggs. There's resources such as Craigslist. Most every region in the country has some sort of local auction that you can sell chicks at or livestock. So even if you don't plan on raising that breed, someone will want to buy them from you. So you can hatch them. You can even raise them for four weeks and bring them to the auction. Raise them so that when you raise the breed that you want to keep, that you already have your first run done and at least do it with birds that are not as important to you or valuable because some of the white egg breeds are cheaper to obtain than the brown eggs such as many people are, are interested in the black, black copper morons and those are the darkest of the dark eggs. You know, that's what I have in my incubator right now, super dark brown eggs. I can candle them because I've done this before and I have the proper equipment. Okay, the reason you want to candle your eggs is anything, especially ones that have died. If you have an egg that started to develop but somehow died, which a certain percentage will, you know, most people you, you see on, it, on eBay say they have 99% hatch. That's not true. Most people have 75 to 80% or less. So you, every egg in your incubator, especially if you're using a foam one, is not going to hatch. If you leave that egg in there for the amount of time it takes to incubate a chicken egg, that's not going to, a dead one or one that's not fertile, it's going to rot. It's possibly going to explode. If the egg explodes, you're going to have a huge mess on your hand. If you have a foam incubator, your performance for that foam incubator may never be the same because you'll never be able to clean it out 100%. And in order to sanitize something, you have to get it 100% clean. So when you candle at day seven, you're getting rid of everything that's not growing. That way you don't have eggs explode. That way the rest of the eggs will fully develop because they don't have eggs next to them that are, are just petri dishes for bacteria that will infect the good eggs and kill them too. So it is absolutely crucial that you candle your eggs. Right here is what I use. It's a cool light candle candler 
you can get it at most any hatchery for like 20 bucks and it's well worth your investment. I've had this thing for a year and a half now and haven't used one bulb so it's worth the investment it will you know it's it's fifty dollars for an incubator you know uh, if you got black copper moron eggs like I have they can run you a hundred bucks a dozen it's not worth it you need to candle your eggs and if you're a first timer which my videos I hope are for first time people and not people that have been doing this for 20 years you need to start with white eggs thank you